Oh, how times have changed. Santa Claus, you cannot get away with that these days. Well, hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage. Today, Barb and I are here at Warehouse Antique Mall in Marion, Illinois. And this is a really fun mall. We've been here probably a half dozen times by now. And so we've done well with it. And we're gonna head inside and see if it's another banner day. That's the Homecrest furniture. That's not bad for the table and two chairs because I could use a table, but we've got our car. <laughs> and unfortunately, there's no cushions. Right, that's You'd have to the get them made. Too. I bet that's expensive. We both, Barb and I both have this brand of patio furniture. Mm -hmm. Yep, I like it. I don't think that would fit in my car. No, in fact, I know it wouldn't. Ooh my, 25% off of Fenton and they have some beautiful vases. There's the bittersweet here for 95. This, this one right up front. I feel like that's a little on the high side, so. but they're expecting you to get 25% off. So <gasps> this is lovely. That's cool. That's is that like that, leather? I don't know. Is it that one company? Uh, dream pets. Dream pets. It kind of has the has the appeal of a dream pet. And here's a Wallace nutting print in here for twenty five. They're always fun. We bought a fairy lamp in here, or I did last time. I think it was last time. That's a pretty one. Wow. That was really similar to the fairy lamp you bought. So which way do you want to go? We can go left or right. I don't know. Probably that way. Okay. Yeah. I think that's what we normally do. Look at this afghan though, Barb, for 45. Very nice. I like the colors on it. These are fun. Ellie Smith for $40 for, oh, each one. These are still here. When I saw them the first time a while ago, I loved them. I still do. It's beautiful art glass, little serving tray set. Those look like Holt Howard, don't they? because they're not, I know. I almost thought they were. Interesting, they are Japan though. Beautiful. I like the Blinko ashtray, that's really pretty. The Blinko ashtray, yeah. You no, know, I am surprised that all of this bittersweet is still here. Some of it they've sold, but I am going to get some more of it because I just sold one like this. And I did well with it. They have 22 and a half on these. For peace? Yeah. So, it's a beautiful slag. I'll do this one. Oh, that has a candlestick on the inside of it, right mm -hmm. in there. Maybe Barb wants to get one. You want a little one like this? Mm. There's another one over there too. No, I don't. The compotes, that one's 30. I just don't see a lot of it. I like this shape too. This is a very pretty form yeah, in the middle. That's a nice one. How much is that? I might get that's thirty seven fifty. Yeah. It's you don't really see it. It's a free form they call it. Okay, I'm thinking I'm gonna get maybe a few of these. That's pretty too. Let's get those. Maybe I'll get two and then I'll get oh this one back here is pretty too. Look at this bittersweet. The angles on that, it's so pretty. I love bittersweet glass because it just has that great candy corn look to it. I'm gonna get that one and this one. Well, there's two tags. Oops, there's two tags in here. I wonder if there's a difference. No, they just accidentally had two tags. Okay, I'm gonna take these up front. There's a compote back there. It's missing its lid. That one right through there. This one has its lid, but that's 55. That is beautiful. That one is missing its lid. There is technically, I don't know. I don't know what to do. There's a lot. I'm gonna just grab a few of these and take them up. I, I, I love them so much. You know, I don't wanna regret this. I came back. I think I wanna get this one and then that's about it for this booth. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that one. And those will eventually make their way into a live sale. Sell them on YouTube. And Barb, you found a, she found a, an owl picture. Mushroom piece. A 
I think yeah. it's made out of seeds. I don't know. I probably won't get that. And it's resonated. I He's just made missing that up. his resonated. eye. Oh <laughs> no. I guess it kind of makes him winking, but I don't know. How, yeah. how old do you think that is? Who like, knows? 80s, know. 70s? Yeah. I am going to put this other bowl up there because I love it and it's good. Bittersweet is one of my favorites. Oh, what is that girl doing over there on her? She's, she's hanging from a pole. Uh -huh. It's the best kind. Let me see here. $24.50. Oh, it's a pinup girl. Yeah, you are your pinup girl. She has her birds. That's fun. There's owls over there, too. Yeah, there's That's a beautiful lamp with the green How and the that? gold gilding. Oh, it's that one, the metal, is it metal? Oh, is it? I don't know, it looks like metal. Oh, yikes. Oh, is huh. it um, plaster? Yeah. 72. 1972. 1972. Why? It looks like 1969 to me. It says 1972 right What's here. What's this say? That's the mold number. And then it, I mean, maybe that's when the oh, person I painted see. it. I see. Huh. Here's an art glass. Oh, that's pretty. This swan is really pretty. Ooh, watch the other one. This swan is really pretty. Oh, it's cracked in the center on the bottom. How much are the, is the feather art? These are pie. I do well with the feather arts. The little Mexico. I wonder how much they are. 17 for the pair. That's not much at all. The colors are vibrant. The size is pretty. Very tempting. Oh, this is lovely too. The Amberina for 15 and then there's this other swung vase for 37. I'm gonna go put this up with the others as well. Because we don't really even have a like a basket or anything, so it makes it a little bit more tricky. Oh, Brittany's singing in the background. Oh, Brittany. She's singing stronger. I just noticed your necklace. I don't know why. That's oh. pretty cool. Is that new or just uh, something you have for I got while? it, I don't know, a few months ago, I guess. There's a Hager deer planter. That's pretty. It looks like Morton, but it says I know. Hager. Well, the tag looks oh, like it yeah, does it to is. me. I don't know. Hmm. Cool. So how much? It's 10. That's not bad. I ordered a flamingo paint by number, a new one, to paint myself. Oh, you did order it. Okay. Yeah, it was like $5 on Amazon. It's amazing how cheap those things are. And the whole kit. It okay. comes with a paint and everything. All right, we're going to apparently the barn. More booths downstairs, which is this way. Ooh, it's kind of warm down here, though. So we've got to watch it. We don't want to dry ourselves out too much with the heat. <gasps> that cat is throwing up a rainbow. I've always liked this way of doing it. You can display your quilts in the cabinet. This cabinet's $280, but they have all your pretty little quilts in here. This is a wedding ring quilt, it looks like. Ugh, oh, they're so pretty. It is $25, $25, wow. But there's, you know, it has its scrappy cell, has scrappy edges. Really pretty. I have our quilts displayed at home in the spare room, pretty much like that. That way you can see them whenever you're not using them. Some country stuff over there. 20% off in this booth. There's a lion up there. Some crackers. The cracker tins are always popular. $10 for this one, 12 for this one. I hear that storing your crackers in them keeps them fresher, longer, like your new crackers. Your new crackers that you get. $17.50 for the Marigold Carnival dish. Oh, how times have changed. Santa Claus, you cannot get away with that these days. I'm trying to sell some cigarettes. You're not allowed to do that, mister. Well, we are finding some great, well, I've, I've got lots of glassware, tell you that much. Look at this tree made out of sticks. Little twigs for $10. That's Viking. For 40, the Viking Owl. 80, right before I oh, was Empire. born. Oh, Empire. It's cracked. Oh. It's a bit cracked. 
Oh, there's a whole bucket full or a barrel full. Perfect. They're all about the same, I guess. I'll leave you to it. Some mugs and some Pyrex and some Fire King. Love it. Coffee. Are any of them not cracked? Uh, yeah. I don't think this one is. I was. This one says 1968. Oh, wow. And it's wow. a fun little thing on it of some type. This one's 12. Hmm. That's not much, I don't believe. Oh, we're upstairs, by the way. And I've done pretty well up here, too, in the past. I like this pink. I'm noticing it over here. Oh, it's a heart. 18. I like that opalescent. Very good. And this one, too, with the open lace. This looks like Northwood, doesn't it? You do look kind of like... Oh, it's cracked. It's cracked. Anyway, it's $12. I love that basket pattern with the uh, Marigold Carnival. So pretty. Ooh, uh, that's a nice fairy lamp for $12. I should consider that. I like the, the way it is. I like the way you are. But are you screwed up? If you're screwed up, then I will not participate in purchasing you. Let me look at the bottom. There's so many problems, so many areas that could have a problem. This looks like a very nice piece of glass. I am going to do it for $12. And it's the lovely color of amber, which is fantastic for the seasonality that we're, for the season that we're in. Ooh, look at all the plastics. That's exciting. Barb, do you see my fairy lamp? Oh. Mm -hmm. Ain't that fun? Yeah. I just want to get excited about it. <laughs> And you got your little pail. Well, I'm gonna buy this for myself. It's a Fun World $6 Halloween with a cat inside. <laughs> I don't think it would do very well for resale. There was a fly that just landed on there. We all got to witness it. So it was, it's, this is made in Hong Kong and uh, Barb had just sold a flashlight made by Fun World and it didn't do very well. It took a, it took a while to, for anybody to get excited about it. Yeah. I will put this with my collection and be perfectly happy about it because it's hard, like hard, it's harder plastic, similar to Ross Bro or Rose Bro. So, this is kind of fun. I love it. So it's plastic, but made to look like crystal. Guess so. Acrylic trash can. 15. We love a good acrylic trash can. I don't think I have a place for it. There's always more room for trash. Oh, those Christmas cone, Christmas cones. Ice cream cones are fun. Oh, yeah. Steven. There's a chocolate. Oh, they're from 2002, Dairy Queen. Well, in that case, I don't want them. That's lovely and tacky. <laughs> no, it's not really tacky, but it's like, definitely like 70s. And that yellow is pretty with the flowers. Oh, for maybe Aria? Yeah, she was wanting some more, but I think... I mean, these are too big. Those How are about like, the blue ones? Are they for good for, um, I don't know. what's his face? Yeah, Hudson? I don't think he needs any, though. Okay. Yep. Not the right size. Not the right size. Well, they can always grow into them. Yeah. Let's go this way. There's a whole bunch of Ray Dunn here. I've never been interested in them. Maybe I'm a dope. I just I just never could get excited about Ray Dunn. I like all the Halloween ones. I don't have one of those, but I don't need one today. Yeah. Maybe like in 20 years, I'll be like, oh, I loved Ray. I would love to get some Ray Dunn because I, bet. I was a young person back then. I am saved. <laughs> in the moment. There's just one for everybody. There's a popcorn scene. There is one for everybody. What would be the best word for me? The one, the flamingo one, the flocking oh. fabulous. I'm flocking fabulous. <laughs> you know, it's only $24. Why is there a, so it's a lid? Yeah, it's a special lid to keep your coffee warm. Maybe. Should I be stupid and buy it like a doofus? Wouldn't I be like the biggest dope in the world if I got that? Look, Even though I find Ray Dunn to be I guess that's not what the that lids great. are for. Or are they just for decoration when you display it? I don't know. I like the trick or treat. Those are pretty. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll think about it. Okay, I decided not to get the Ray Dunn Flamingo. Okay. $25, I mean, 
that can go in my retirement account. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we are up in the hottest part of this place. They have a fan that helps us, not at all. This whole area is so pretty, the way they have it displayed. It's like walking into a magazine. It's just such a great vibe. Let's see, my back hurts. I've been walking a lot today, but we got some stuff. We sure did own more of that Ray Dunn down here. Some little mugs. An uh, Indiana fairy lamp. And the amber stars and bars. Oh, the little ch strawberries glass. It's cracked. I thought there was an area upstairs that's like a little room with like a like a couch and one time a kid was up there. That's and... back over there, Barb. Oh, it wasn't upstairs. <laughs> no, it's downstairs. Okay. She gets lost so easily. <laughs> yeah, it's over here. Here's the Ohio Art Bank for $15. And then they've got some planters over there. Let's go this way. Yeah, we got to talk a little bit louder back here because, ooh, look at the glassware though because they have stuff playing around, you know, the music. That persimmon glass is beautiful. It's this one right here. That one with the orange, that's brilliantly, beautifully great. These are Italian roosters. That's beautiful. And some moon and some stars. Ooh, mother of pearls. That's delightful. This section looks like, what are these? I love those. Oh. You could have some soups. They're beautifully done. Who did them? Somebody did. I can't, if you yeah. wanna put your hand in there and play with it. Here, go for it. Nobody. Yeah, somebody. Oh. They just didn't wanna make it known. Hmm. How about the second one? Well, I can't. I'm invested now. You got me started. Nope. Oh, screw it. Sorry. <sighs> They're different. I feel like it's been so long since we've looked at tins together and I wanted to look at this one here. Art style chocolates. I love the design on there. And there is some graphics on the top of it. This is made out of Boston and St. Louis. In fact, there's another one hidden deep in there. Another one just like it. Here's a great tin as well. Cocktail sticks. They look like little thin pretzels. That's fun. I, I just really enjoy some of these old tins like this. Some of them aren't as old than others, but they're beautiful. Aren't they just lovely? And I got some bottles over here too. And of course, more Ray Dunn, but we'll just not look at that. I'm kidding. I, you can't like everything. I kind of do like them though. The more that I look at them, I'm like, oh, maybe I do like them. <laughs> like, that's pretty with like the little, some of the, I like the Halloween ones the most. Like, look at the sheen on that potion. And the trick or treat one is cute. They've gotten better. I think whenever I used to think of Ray Dunn, I just think of like a tiny little black word written on like a piece of pottery. But these are more like, I don't know, there's more to it. Maybe this is like the latest iteration of, of it. This is the front section of the, sh of the mall now. You know, we never looked in those cases over there. So I'm gonna walk right over there and take a look. So, oh, ooh, I like this afghan. That is beautiful. Do you see the colors? How much do you think this is? Because that's really delightful. I'm surprised I didn't look at this one. Okay, 35. The colors are so pretty together and it's kind of a lighter, it's like lighter weight, so it'd be great for the fall. All right, let's look over here. So we've got some wood puzzles and some chalkware, some chalkware wall plaques. I think those are metal toys, a 1930s cannon. Very pretty, and some old cigar boxes. And down here we have some foldable rulers, some nut dishes, some toys. There's paperweights too, $24. Can't really do much with those. There's some uh, carnival glass back there. 
also, that has been there for a while too. The Jefferson clock looks really like kind of mid-century looking. That's pretty as well. And this cranberry is lovely too. It has this peach crest on it. Or not, not cranberry. It's, um, oh, it's what? It's pink with white cased, it's white cased pink glass with peach crest. Oh my gosh, I can't even get a word out. Just I'd look at it and say it's beautiful. 20% off in this case. Hmm, that's an old, see that little tray there? It's an old Coca-Cola miniature tray, probably for like your money, like a tri like a tip tip tray, because you can't really serve much food on that, so it's probably for money or a receipt or something. I just spotted this in the glass cases, so I'm gonna go ahead and get it for twenty five dollars. I like it a lot. The shape of it's really cool, and it's all hand painted. So I'm gonna add that to my pile. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh, we had an eventful time getting out of there. I was walking to the car, and then a a wasp started following it's me. It's still outside the window. It likes you. <laughs> I mean, okay, but like it, it would, it kept flying around me and I couldn't get in the car and I was rocking the other direction. <laughs> it was still following me. And then I walked back to the car when I thought it was gone and then it came back. I, the, I walked away and then it would follow me again and I went back and I tried opening the door and then it tried flying into the car and then I shut the door really quickly it's so terrible <laughs> but like I don't want to get stung like I'm not trying to be like right you survived we're gonna make it we are and we did really well there like well <laughs> Barb got she did get a um a pail yes. for her candy uh for your lifetime supply if you were to fill that thing up she yeah. eats so slow <laughs> so um yeah I, I got really great glassware all the pretty bittersweet it'll do so great i love it so much because bittersweet bittersweet is just a really fun it's slag glass well you were there you saw it it's just beautiful makes me get excited mm -hmm. let's wrap it up here thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe Bye bye